After his dominant victory over Errol Spence Jr., Terrence Bud Crawford has now a hardcore argument to be ranked as the number one pound for pound boxer in the world. But Terrence just turned 36 and has admitted himself that he only has a few fights left. But waiting in the wings right behind him, the prodigy, we have Jerome Boots Ennis, the hard punching switch hitter out of Philly. Now, a lot of comparisons have been made between uh, Terrence Bud Crawford and Jerome Boots Ennis. They both have very similar styles. They both switch from southpaw to conventional at the drop of a dime throughout the fight. They're both slick boxers. They both have, uh, they're both power punchers. Um, so I wanted to break down clips and see what the real similarities are between Bud and Boots. I'm gonna break down clips of each of them throwing power punches. Cause when you do clips of them going light on the mitts or, or something like that, you don't get a real idea for what those shots look like when they're thrown with, with conviction. The first one we're gonna look at is a clip of Bud hitting the focus bag. All right. So he, he comes out right on, right out, throws two shots, spins, throws two shots again, and now they tie up. So now they're tying up because they're simulating uh, wrestling around in an actual fight because that really takes a lot out of you when you wrestle around in an actual fight with somebody and you want to get prepared for that. There again, he's grabbing him again. His coach is grabbing Bud. This is really getting his strength ready for the actual fight in case his opponent tries to hold all the time. All right, so now Bud is throwing short uppercuts, spinning, throwing short hooks. Again, spinning, throwing short hooks. So Bud's standing conventional. Uh, throws a one-two right there. Throws another one-two hard left. Another hard uppercut, short, short uppercut. He's doing a lot of spinning, um, and he's primarily standing conventional right now. All the shots are coming from a conventional stance uh, with his left leg leading there. It's a nice hard shot. Again, the, the wrestling, he's throwing tight, short uppercuts and tight little hooks, but is, again, hooks and spinning, hooks and spinning. Uh, so even though those punches might not look that hard, they're very short, and if you look at the bag, it's shaking the bag back really shaking that title bag and really shaking his coach's body. And his coach isn't a small dude. So there are buds still throwing more hooks, throwing more one-twos. Um, and then again, more wrestling here to build up the endurance and the strength, more tight uppercuts and more spinning. And again, there's a hard snappy little left hook and another punch. And again, they tie each other up. Now we're gonna take a look at Jerome Boutzenis also hitting the focus bag. So there's Boots, ooh, throws some hard shots. Boots is standing in a southpaw stance now. Civil fight. Now, now you see right off the jump, Boots is throwing his shots noticeably wider, noticeably wider, but they sound like they're hitting with way more force. So to the naked eye, the shots look harder. Boots is throwing hard shots nonstop. He's whipping it. Boots' shots look more like a whip, whereas uh, Terrence's look a little different. So there we go. So And they're not doing any wrestling tactics. Boots is just throwing power shots while circling. Power shots while circling. He's throwing short little uppercuts there. Short little uppercuts there. So he's not really shaking his trainer's body as much, but the actual pad, you hear it, you hear it snap when that punch lands, like a shotgun blast. There's Boots again, throwing more shots, throwing more uppercuts, throwing more overhand rights, more hooks. He's keeping his guard nice and high, nice and tight. And his, his trainer is just like following him. So they're simulating a fighter putting pressure on you and Boots is throwing punches back at the fighter. Letting a fighter think that he's pressuring you but then he walks into something that he doesn't want to walk into. All right, so now they're, they're going over, I guess, the mechanics of it. <clears throat> All right, now here we go, Boots again. Lines up, hard hook, hard uppercut. Hard hook, hard uppercut. Beautifully done. Another hard hook, and it really, really whipping those punches in. Um, very impressive to see, actually. And they sound and look very impressive. Uh, there he goes again. He's still standing stand in southpaw. Uh, there, ooh, nice hard hook again. So we haven't seen either guy switch, which is what they're known for. Um, they're all, looks like they're all working in one specific stance right now. There's Bush again, a little, some waist movement, throwing hard shots. Again, oh, now he worked a little duck under with his coach, um, which is important. There, see, so, you know, now the coach is showing him how to duck under. All right, now, now he's kind of just working on the mechanics of it. 
That happens. You don't always go full force when you hit the pads. You don't just go non-stop. You have to work on some technique. All right, so there he goes again. Throws a hard shot. Oh, now Boots just switched unconventionally. You saw that? His left leg is leading forward. Now let's see the difference in the shots. Okay, so the shots actually don't look as hard as when he was stop ball. Oh, that was crisp. They're not as whippy. They're not as wide when he's conventional. It's interesting. The boot throws a one-two. The one-two looks crisp, though. So he seems to be throwing crisper shots conventionally and a little bit wider, harder shots as a southpaw. See? That was crisp. It was a little wide, but it was still crisp. Yeah, it's, now that one seems a little wider. Hmm, so it seems to have a little less power as a, as a southpaw. Just a little less. No, no, nothing crazy. There he goes again. He's throwing a lot of whipping shots. There, you just missed that last one. And, okay, so that's the end of that. So that was interesting, seeing both guys throw uh, power shots on the focus bag. Um, right off the jump, Bud throws a lot shorter shots. And the fight against Errol Spence, that was apparent. He was throwing short, tight little shots. Boom! Going from point A to point B in the shortest amount of time. Whereas Boots does a little more of a whip. A whip like this. And Bud's more like this. Um, Boots' shots looked harder and sounded harder. However, if you look at the impact of the punch, Bud's seemed like they might have impacted more and did more when it lands. It did more kind of like rattling and pushing back. Um, so they're not as similar as I thought they would be. You know, um, I know we just looked at them throwing punches defensively. Uh, they're very different. I think um, Dron has a lot more of a kind of slick movement with his defense. Bud is a lot more efficient with his movements. He just moves when he has to, little here or there. Uh, so they are pretty different. Um, but I guess to summarize it, I think that, you know, I can't really summarize it. I don't know who hits harder. One guy looks like he hits harder. The other guy sounds like he hits harder. Tell me in the comments, guys, who do you think punched harder? And did you see a difference in boots when he switched from southpaw to conventional? Hit me in the comments.